Right, very good morning, good afternoon, sorry folks, afternoon. Now the first thing I'm doing today is going to be giving some some clothes. I had a bit of a tidy out. I got rid of all the, the clothes that I don't really wear anymore. Just a, a few of them, mostly sort of like just these uh, jogging bottoms and old t-shirts and things that I don't need anymore. So they're going in the, uh, in the thing over there. Right. Right, the next stop of the day, folks, is here at the Gallica car park where we're going to go to Marks and Spencer's and get some uh, sweets for the car. They're real jelly sweets, they're the best ones to get. The fruit jellies are so good, so uh, that's why we've come here to get those particular sweets. <laughs> All right. Oh, the picture they've all been taken, look, I think. Oh no. Right, folks, I've got my sweets, got jelly babies, and I've got the uh, the fruit gums, that's the ones. They're the ones that are really uh, nice and juicy, man. They're really good. So they're for the car. They won't last too long, I don't think. Right, folks, well, that's where we are. The Riverside Nature Park. Going for a little stroll around here. Been here before a couple of times. It's not the most interesting of places, but we're going to have a, just, just for a stroll, isn't it? Now we should be doing the Frankie's Cool Dudes uh, Spotters Guide. You get, you know, that book you had with the, you get the points. So uh, if you watch that video, then let's see what we can find to put in Frankie's book. Can't remember all the things there was up there, but here's the park anyway. High path. I was going on the low path, but there were some people down there. As Bro had said, they were just annoying him. So we've come up to the high path, and that will take us up to the well, the high bit, obviously. Get a view of the uh, surrounding area from up here. Because me, folks, it's actually quite cold up here. The wind's really blasting. So I'll just head back down again. I think it's too cold at the top here. Yes. I just saw a skylark there. This has been the most boring walk. There's not anything, there's nothing to see. There's a lake uh, through there. And there's a couple of bulls and swans and things, but I can't get through so it's fenced off here, yeah, look. Again here. Hello, there we go. Some hiring cows there, look. Oh, lots of bird activity here. really smelly on the path coming back here there's some sort of a uh, site over the over the way 
and the wind just brings a smell right across. It's uh, pretty nifty. Look. That was a rather cold, smelly walk, I must admit. I didn't like that. Nothing to see apart from a couple of skylarks and uh, a few other birds sort of dancing around there, but there's nothing to see. It was really exposed. It's on a cold bit, it's sort of like where the wind comes across the tape. It's really cold. My poor legs, I should have put a hat on. I was smelly coming back and uh, nothing to see. So a very boring walk indeed. So that only gets a three, a lowly three out of ten on the ometer, folks. A pathetic mark for that uh, riverside walk. Yeah, it's just not a good man. It's full of dog walkers and there's bags thrown all over the place. Honestly, dog walkers, with your black bags and your green bags, you throw them all over the place. Hanging from trees and everything. Ridiculous. And it's just a, a smelly cold walk. Not to be recommended, that one. Now, I'm not happy about the packet of jelly babies I've got. There's loads of yellow ones in it, man. It's just... Just every time I pick one out, it's yellow, yellow, yellow. Honestly. Look, another one, yellow, there you go. Honestly, picked the wrong packet, did it, as usual. Miss Gray taught geography And I thought she was the one for me Miss Gray, she taught geography geography teacher and had a, a crush on Miss Grey. Oh, she used to wear short skirts and a loose blouse, man. Oh, as a young boy. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, and I thought she was the one for me. One answer I gave her in particular, that was funny. Uh, she was going about slaughterhouses and she said, does anybody know another name for the slaughterhouse? So I coolly put my hand up and looked her in the eye and she went, all right, OK, Gordon, what is it? I said, the knackers, Miss. And everybody a howl with laughing, she laughed, she was rolling in her chair laughing. The knackers, no Gordon, it's not the knackers, no. Uh, and then somebody went abattoir and that was it. So but uh, I, I wonder if she remembers that, you know, me saying to her the knackers having a whole class in hysterics, man, honestly. Uh Miss Grey. Miss Grey, she taught geography. And I thought she was the 